Hello guys again. Uh, as you remember in the previous video, we just created our uh, first Next.js project as an API project. Now I'm going to create a new project or uh, starting to create our services to make communication between API and services or services with other services. In order to do that, I'm just going to create a new project again. Uh, new project account dot service and uh, actually I have created mm, before the video to get a bit faster uh, so you can uh, I call it account dot service the new project because I want this uh, project uh, I will use it as a authentication service so we users will just get login or register or whatever you can just check uh, authentication stuff you know so uh, at first I will just go to account that service and say okay npm install it will take a little time to get install everything uh, okay so if I run okay, npm start it will create start the project in as a it's a still a normal is or not just project doesn't have anything to say it's not a microservice still so I will convert this uh, account service to actually a microservice so how it does work if you come down a bit we will see a web sockets no uh, microservice act sorry uh, inside the microservice uh, in preview it says okay so it says we have three services we, which are communicating each other using a TCP okay uh, there are other things to like Redis and QTT Nets, Travis and Kafka or uh, gRPC which is pretty good. Uh, for this video I'm going to use RabbitMQ which is my choice. You can choose Kafka or Redis, whatever you like. Uh, at first it says, okay, start build a microservice first install the required package. It says npm nest js microservice. It says create or add the microservice package to a project. So I'm going to install the microservice package to our project. While it gets installing, I'm going to install required things, uh, required actually RabbitMQ uh, message broker in my Windows. And Kafka other things like Redis even you have to install Redis or Kafka so I'm just going to uh, search for Golang install Windows it say uh, it will bring a website uh, which you can actually download go for Windows and install it so uh, why we use go it says okay you have to install Golang to make your app MQ work okay so first of all, I will put this link in the description, by the way. Uh, we will install Go, which I have already installed. So it's a pretty straightforward MSI uh, file. You can just uh, create or add Golang in your Windows. Next, I'm going to search for um, RabbitMQ. It will bring here, download and installing. Okay, it says, okay, this RabbitMQ page. So I just get back to actually directly installing. You can install it using a chuck lately or a binary build. I only have an style uh, this guy chuck lately. Chuck lately. Okay, sorry, 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 chuck lately. My pronounce was a bit bad. Uh, so I suggest you. At first, for RabbitMQ again, after Golang, just install Chuck uh, It's uh, you know, it's like makes it like Linux by just some commands. You can install whatever you want inside the Windows in a few uh, actions. I'll just put the link of this uh, Chuck Lighty inside uh, the description again. After that, you will run the Choco install RabbitMQ and RabbitMQ will be installed uh, so I'm just going to actually go to services um, sorry okay yeah okay 
So after you install the graph name view, you can run uh, search for a rabbit here and it is running. Check for it if it is not running, we, we, you have some problems. So make sure rabbit name queue inside the services is running as a service. Okay. So after install the rabbit name queue, go lang out, etc. Our microservice is ready actually to get run. What is the difference between a normal API project and a microservice project? As you remember, we had API gateway, but at account service, the main.ts file will be changed to um, be like a service, not an API, wasn't it? Okay, so how it will work? I'll just go come back to the NestJS website. It says, okay, you have to change the bootstrap function. Oh, sorry. Okay. And I will just come out this other remote later. So it says, okay, create a microservice with microservice options and the transport as a transport layer and how to actually uh, communicate with other services. So I'm just going to actually here it will listen. Okay, so let's import what it needs. Uh, in my Visual Studio code, I use control dot. You can use anything you like. I don't know if it is set or not, but you should add or import microservice options from the package we already installed right now. It has a transport. Uh, yeah, it says add transport to this import. Uh, it says okay TCP. No, I'm just going to use MQ. Uh, sorry, um, RMQ, which is a short form of the rabbit MQ. Okay, so this is it. Uh, our rabbit MQ is ready, but I wanted to make it a bit, you know, custom or add some custom uh, information so I can be sure that okay my code is clean to run a microservice because not, uh, there is not one service that we're going to add so we have to add some custom things like a name of the GUI which RabbitMQ uses of course for Kafka already uh, it will be in, uh, in other settings but this is for just RabbitMQ uh, options uh, which is specific for the actually RabbitMQ okay. so it, I'm going to create a const variable uh, as a micro service options which is a type of the uh, as TypeScript says the type of the micro service options it asks for transport like the bottom section transport dot rmq and I'm going to options at here which is going to ask me uh, some URLs so what does the URL tells them actually URL is a uh, URL of the RabbitMQ uh, uh, running RabbitMQ URL okay so you can just uh, <coughs> get a online RabbitMQ from Amazon or I don't know maybe Microsoft does it or any other platforms that provide some uh, RabbitMQ processes so I just suggest you to actually make it like this. It will be too easy actually to make communication between uh, RabbitMQ as online service. Okay, so I just copied the URL that I'm going to use, which is AMPQ. In it's a local host because I just uh, added as a local service for now. It listens to port uh, 5672 which is actually a default port as a service uh, and if you wanted to run it as a, um, a manager side I mean uh, opening the admin panel inside the rapid MQ you'll have to just write uh, this guy yeah so management port is starts with extra one I mean 15672 and it will ask as sorry uh, let me show you that too it will 
user and pass will be guess at, uh, at first, but I just change it myself. You can just uh, change it when you locked in. Inside admin and add another user here, not guess, and just make it work. Okay. So I only have maybe I have so many queries for other projects, so I'm just going to keep this management page on at here. I will I won't touch it for now. And then okay, we had our uh, we had our URLs. I'm going to add another sections, uh, another custom sections or options. Uh, I'm just going to add a query. Okay, so. What does this query is? Actually, it's a query that I will use inside the code. Okay, so I can just uh, get a share even inside the management. Uh, I will get sure that okay, this is a con service query connected to this project. Okay, so I will just know where to send my message or my message comes from there by this query name. Okay, so it's important to. I uh, write it a specific name for this video. I'm just going to call it account service query. Okay. Um, the next, uh, the next part is um, there are some other options that RabbitMQ accepts, like uh, no ACK. Sorry, no ACK. Um, I'm not going to uh make this guy true but it's like something imagine your service has stopped and some other mm, message come uh, has came to this service but somehow the service is stopped so messages won't be accepted uh, and what does noac does is actually uh, receives the message that hasn't been received uh, it is actually acknowledged okay short form of the acknowledge it will receive the message that haven't been received I'm just going to not add it for now uh, there are there some options that you can use for this purpose I'm just going to keep it too much easy okay I'm just going to press the options here instead of the other part okay uh, it says okay app dot listen and okay that's it our bootstrap is ready, our first microservice project is ready to run. So I'm just going to npm start. And when it is ready to start, uh, you, okay, we forgot something, which is actually, we didn't say, okay, dude, we want to use RabbitMQ as a connection manager. So I'm just going to add this package either uh, to our project. So it will let us to use RabbitMQ as a message broker. Okay. So let's run it. Waiting. And okay, our next microservice successfully started. Okay. And if I come here and if I go to connections okay it says something is running yes uh, it's running and what is it running do you remember what was our query name it was account service query okay so our query has been added to the rapid MQ so in this video our job number two is done uh, at first actually we created API then we created a account service in the next video, I'm just going to show you how we can just make communication between API Gateway to the account service and uh, that's that. Okay? We will send requests from API to the account. See you soon.